the first thing we're going to want to do is open up the admin console at admin.google.com. Once there, we're going to click on Apps, G Suite, Gmail. In Gmail, we're going to scroll down to Advanced Settings. And in Advanced Settings, we're going to scroll down to Compliance. Now note that any settings you make, you need to make sure you have the proper OU set. In this case, I have the top level OU set. However, if you want it to, to select a subset of users, you can choose the OU in question with those users in it. Now once in compliance, the first option is going to be email and chat auto deletion. This is default disabled. However, you can enable it and select any increment of in days and whether or not messages are sent to the trash folder or deleted permanently upon receiving them. So for example, the default 30 days, if selected, would send these messages to the trash folder from my inbox or any label after 30 days from receiving them. Now, if I have an email that is important and I do not want it to be deleted, you can set up labels, for example, do not delete. Now, anybody that has a label labeled do not delete, in this case with an exclamation mark, and they put messages in that label, will ignore the 30-day rule. Any messages taken out of that label, however, will be deleted upon it being noticed that it is in excess of 30 days from being received. You can add multiple labels by separating them by commas. In this case, we have five labels, do not delete, A, B, C, and D. And each of those labels would prevent any email within them from being deleted if this were selected. From here, we can go ahead and do content compliance. Now this is a more of an advanced filter based on words and phrases. What you can do is configure inbound and outbound messages, both internal and external, from sending or receiving any messages that include content that you wouldn't want them to send, especially uh, profanity or if you have information that does, you don't want to be sent. You can block your engineers from sending the word power or receiving the word power. You'll enter a description up here. Select whether you want this inbound or outbound, or you can select both. In this case, I want to prevent all of my users from sending the word test. So I'll add a expression. It'll be a simple content match. So all we're looking for is the word test. Now in this particular case, I don't want to block the message from going through. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to add anything to the header. I'm not going to make a custom header. I'm not going to prepend the subject. However, if you were, you could add test to the subject. So for example, if this was an email that said budget reports, and somewhere in the content it said test, this would add test to the subject. So it would say test budget reports. You can change the root. In this case I don't have any root set up, but if you have any other root set up, they would show up here. You can change the envelope recipient. For example, I do not want anyone to send the word test to anybody. So instead, I am going to make anybody who sends an email that includes the word test to admin at that domain. Or better yet, admin at my domain. You can bypass spam filter for these messages, which I'm not going to do remove attachments from these messages. For all I know, people are sending attachments with the word test in it, and that may be a bad thing. You can add more recipients. For example, 
you want the message to go through, but you want to be notified of these messages as well by receiving the message. So what you can do is add your own email address. And what this will do is include yourself as a BCC on this particular message. So anytime someone sends the word test, you'll receive this message as well. And then you can require encryption for the message as well. Once you click advanced setting or apply setting, the setting will be there. You have the option of editing, disabling, deleting, adding another, or copying to any other OU if this is not on the top level. In this case, we have modifying the message for the uh, recipient to go to admin. We're also adding another recipient, in this case, my email at mydomain.com, and we're removing all attachments from the email address. Other settings can be changed. You can stack more settings on, remove settings as at will, or just completely disable it or delete it if you're on the OU that was created. Now, in the event that you just want to remove attachments, you can do so from there. Or, if you want all messages that your users are sending to not have attachments, you can go into the setting, select your outbound, go to modify message, and have attachments removed from the message. Select your uh, message stating why the attachment was removed and the fact that the attachment was removed. And any other configuration settings that you want to set and click Add Settings.